What are the right tires for your e-bike? Should you be using knobby tires like this? Or should you be running slick tires like this? Let's figure it all out in this video. Hello my friends, my name is Gene Arnold from eBike Journeys and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we'll be checking out a set of slick tires from Kenda that Miyogo sent over to me to test and we want to compare them to the knobby tires that came stock on this e-bikes. I recently reviewed the Miyogo NX um, that came stock with a set of these knobby tires. Um, there actually should be a description above my head if you want to you know, check out that video and learn more about this pretty cool bike. Now these are a nice set of all around tires, but since I'll pretty much be using this bike primarily on asphalt, pavement, you know, just hard flat surfaces, Miyogo sent over the Kenda Slicks and asked if I'd give them a try. They're supposed to be a little bit more silent and just have a different feel. So I said, sure, I'll give them a try. And they are now installed on my, on my NX. So let's first talk about the most obvious difference between these two tires. It's gonna be the treads. Right, the stock ones, the one right here, um, has more of a, a knobby pattern on it, okay? And the Kenda Slicks that I just put on this bike have more of the treads that you would kind of find on your car. The knobbies, right, they're designed to work more in like gravel, dirt, I don't want to say all terrain, but certainly meant to, to grip into loose surfaces uh, much better than the Slicks would, though the Slicks are designed to kind of give you that riding on rail um, feel when you're riding on the asphalt. They're a faster rolling tire compared to the, the knobbies. Uh, it's also a very hard tire. So you're gonna feel some bumps in it, but you're gonna, you're gonna kind of cruise around a little bit faster and be able to corner a little bit better. But we're gonna test all that out in just a few moments. But again, just a quick difference between the two tires. All right, my friends, let's get on the bike and do some testing. Before we actually jump out to the street, if content like this is interesting to you and you like this video, then like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about the content that I'll be releasing, please think about subscribing to eBike Journeys. Now let's jump on the bike and go have some fun. So the first tires we're testing right now are the knobbies. And what you'll notice is you'll hear a faint hum in the background with these tires. They're not super loud but you'll notice that they are louder than the, um, than the slicks. So now back at the house, we'll do a super fast front and rear tire change. And if you'd like to learn how to change your front and rear tires, um, I'll have links in the description as well as above um, on the screen. But regardless, we now have the slicks on the bike and let's go do a sound test with these. So with the slicks, they're definitely more quiet, right? When you don't hear the motor and when you don't hear your pedaling, if you just listen to the tires, there really isn't that hum in the background, okay? But I do want to stress that the, the knobbies aren't super loud, but the silent tires are certainly more silent. That's not the biggest difference between these two tires. And you'll learn about that in the rest of this video. But just listen, and you just won't hear anything in the background. So let's now talk about the feel of the ride, because honestly, that's probably the biggest difference between these two tires. When I was using the original, um, the original knobby tires, I would say that the ride was a, was a bit softer. Okay, they would soak up more of the bumps in the road. Uh, they were also certainly better in gravel and dirt. When I jumped over to the slicks. It was, a, it was a bit of a stiffer ride, but um, yes, it was a little bit more quiet, um, but I also felt like I was rolling faster, okay? And I also felt like I could corner better and just had, I don't know, maybe a little bit more control of the bike on the asphalt because these tires really were designed for this type of terrain. I'm really not gonna say that one tire is better than the other. 
because they're really not. It just depends on what you want to use them for, of course, right? If you are commuting and you live more in the city and you're definitely riding on asphalt and you want that faster rolling experience, right? You want that more motorcycle feel, that tighter cornering feel, then the slicks are definitely something you should look into. If you are using using your e-bike in more of a hybrid mode, right, where you're going to be riding on some gravel, um, I don't know, you might even be using it in the off season on on some snow roads, okay? You'd want to look into a knobby tire because you're going to want to have that extra traction, okay? Um, but it's a slower riding tire and it's a it's a noisier riding tire. So again, I would not put one above the other. I would say that one is certainly designed for one experience more than the other, okay? And with that in mind, it'll kind of help you figure out what the right tire is for you. For me, I'm probably gonna leave the slicks on for a little while longer. It's just kind of a cool feel. Um, I like the faster rolling experience in the cornering, but again, that's just me. I'd love to get your thoughts. As always, put them down in the comments below and let me know what you're thinking. Now in closing, my friends, remember I've got lots of videos coming into this channel. I've got videos on essential tools you should be using. I'll have videos put up pretty soon on how to actually change your front and rear tire on your e-bike. Front was pretty easy, back eh, it was a little tricky, so you're going to want to look out for that video. Lots of great content on e-bike journeys, so again, think about subscribing. Gene Arnold, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.